Hello, this is Alex Eames from raspi.tv. What's this? It's the new Raspberry Pi case, officially launched yesterday by the Raspberry Pi Foundation. I've had one for quite some time because I went to the birthday celebration where they gave out the first batch of about a thousand. It's a very nice case. Gordon tells a story on the Raspberry Pi website of how it all went together. It took a very long time to get it right. So how does it work? Well, you've got several parts. We'll show you a breakdown of the parts in a minute. But you've got your basic lid there, which exposes most of the pie. If you can fit certain kinds of hats in there, say for example a unicorn hat, or if you you can put the lid on with a unicorn hat on because it's nice and flat. I'll show you that in a moment. But if you've got something that's a little bit bigger, like Ryan's traffic hat, that can fit in, but you won't be able to keep the lid on. Um, something like a Raspi Arduino does fit nicely, just fits inside. I'll show you that in a moment as well. But the nice thing about the case is that it's very modular. Supposing you wanted better access to the GPIO pins, you just unclip that side. I seem to have pinged it onto the floor, and there you go. Access to the GPIO pins, and if you need more than that, you can take this bit off the top as well. Notice that the left-hand side stays on, so you've still got your... You wouldn't have to unplug an HDMI cable if you had a screen plugged in and you wanted to remove those parts. So that's pretty cool. Take that off. There it is with a Raspberry Arduino in. As you can see it just fits that jumper. That's just plain good luck. It's not a design thing. I didn't have inside information there. It was just plain good old fashioned good luck that it's exactly fitting in the right place. See, the unicorn hat fits nice and snug as well. And there's still plenty of room to put the lid on which apparently can act as a nice diffuser. I haven't tried that yet, but I will try it in due course. So Ryan's hat does the buzzer fouls the top so it doesn't quite fit on like that, but uh, it does fit in place. And that may be the case for certain other hats, but uh, you've got the flexibility there. You don't have to use all of the parts. You can just use the parts that fit your requirements, which is really good. I love flexible designs. So, a nice little case, it's six pounds to buy, and it should be on sale from all good Pi retailers like CPC, RS, Farnell, and places like the Pi Hut, the Raspberry Pi Swag Store as well. I think it's a really nice case, nice and modular, very pretty and well worth all of the hard work. Well done to the team. This was Alex Eames for raspi.tv. Thank you for watching.